what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um you guys this one's going to be more of a short video so um i'm going to just get straight into it this right here you guys this this is a first of all every business owner out there thinks they need a facebook business page and i'm going to tell you why your facebook business page is worthless unless you're running facebook ads so unless you're running actual paid advertisement chances are you're not getting any leads from this page okay Here's, here's a couple of different problems that, 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 you know, just pretty much are the reality when it comes to this page. Nine out of 10 business owners, they have this business page and then they obviously have their personal page, right? This business page has to be tied to a personal page. So you can't have a business page without a personal page, right? But what 9.9999% out of 10 people do is they'll set up a business page and then they'll invite everyone from their personal page to come like their business page. Now, here's the number one problem, especially if you're a local business owner. Now, if you're a nationwide business, if you're like an e-commerce type of business and you're selling products on the internet, then, 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 then okay, that's one type of business. But then again, it's still a waste of time for you too, and I'll explain. But if you're for sure a local business owner, the reason why this is such a waste of time to invite those people, because when it comes to your personal page, um, and it, again, it doesn't matter what kind of business owner you are. If you're a local business owner, chances are your friends on your personal Facebook page, as you scale that number up. Now, I'm not talking to you, you guys that have 200 friends on your personal page and every single one of them you know. I'm talking to those that are actually scaling that number up. And the only reason why you would take that friend count from 200 to 2,000 and from 2,000 to 5,000 is because you're building a business. Because you're open for business, you automatically assume that you need as much exposure as possible, right? That's just a normal, obvious thing. We try to grow our social media following. We try to grow our, 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 our follower count on IG, our connections on LinkedIn, our Facebook friends, our likes on our business page. We try to grow, grow all, we try to increase that, that, that count, that friend count, that follower count, all because we need, need as much exposure as possible. But if you're a local business owner, as you take that friend count up, 99% of your 3,700 friends on your personal Facebook page will live across the country. And that's just a fact. So if you're a local business owner and you're promoting your business, whether it's on your personal page or this business page, none of them are in your market. That's why what nine out of 10 business, businesses do, local business owner, small business owner, real estate agent in this particular case, what they end up doing is they end up clicking invite to invite their personal friends to like their business page. When 90% of, 99% of them live across the country. That's problem number one. Problem number two, even if you do take the friend count up a little higher, this is a little higher than, than, what, I'm, that I, than what I normally see. Most people have, have just a few hundred, but even at 1,700, it's like, dude, 90, if, if, and here's, here's another reality. I know for a fact that those 1,700 are not in her local area because there's no way could, she could have invited people from her local area to get up to 1700 there's no way even if she had 5000 friends on her on her personal facebook page where where most of those 1700 came from those are all not people those are people that are that, that are definitely not in her local area but if she ran a facebook like ad and got 1700 likes she would have literally paid 1700 bucks and she would have not done that either or, or he or whoever this you know team you know wild city is there's no way in hell that they ran a page like ad locally to get 1,700 people because I know the cost of, of that and there's no way in hell they would have spent that kind of money just for likes. They would have spent that money on lead capture. So if these are 1,700 people from click and invite, 99% of them live across the country. So as you start to go and post, no one cares. But here's the reality also on, on, on the algorithm of Facebook. Facebook only shows it to about 1% of the 1,700 anyways. So even if those were 1,700 people in her local area, which they're not, but even if they were, Facebook's only showing your organic post to 1%. That's why a person at 1,700 likes, when you scroll down and look at any of their posts, this was posted 22 hours ago, one person liked it. 
This was posted on the 26th. One person liked it. This was posted on the 25th. No one liked it. And the reason for it is because, again, number one, Facebook's only shown it to 1%. And number two, 99% of the 1,700 live across the country. So organic posting is dead. There's no such thing as organic posting. If you're organic posting and you're a local business owner, you're completely wasting your time, especially here on, on, on this Facebook business page. So I always tell my clients or, or just as I do these strategy calls with different business owners, I'm like, dude, the only reason why you need this page is if you're running Facebook ads. If you're not running Facebook ads, don't even have a business page. Keep everything on your personal page because again, all you're doing is click an invite to your friends to like this page. Why? Why not just why not just post this on your personal page since the majority of the 1700 are all on your personal page anyways, right? So it makes absolutely no sense to continue to click invite to people who live across the country and it makes absolute no sense to post organically if you're trying to build a business and that's why again as i speak to thousands and thousands of local business owners organic is not i'm telling you man i'm speaking to them daily this is what i do look at all my strategy calls i'm on calls every damn day i'm recording them for you guys and 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 and, and the roi is not in the organic posting man so i want to just highly encourage you guys you guys have to start running facebook ads Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and then eventually um, um, learn YouTube ads. Now, as you start to run these ads, okay, as you start to run these ads, let's go into, um, let me show you, let me just show you an open account. As you start to go into these ads, okay, let me show you what, let me, let me show you the objectives and, and where you're, where, where you want to be. Um, whether you're running engagement ads or whether you're running video or let me, let me rephrase that whether you're running image ads or you're running video ads, okay? You're gonna come in here to your ads manager, you're gonna click on the blue button. I mean, the blue button, shit, it's right in front of my face, it's damn freaking green. As you click on the green button, you come over here to the, um, to the ad setup, right? This is where all the magic happens. If you're in the business of capturing leads, if you're in the business of getting appointments scheduled, if you're in the business of making sales, 99% of your ads are going to be conversion ads, okay? Now, you can run lead generation if you want. If you don't have a landing page, then lead generation. Use Facebook's landing page. But if you do have landing pages and, and email automation set up, conversions is going to be your best friend. But you have to set up a, con a custom conversion first, okay? So as you start to run these ads, and that's why as I speak to business owners, they're, they're, so, they're so overwhelmed with having to post all the time, right? Posting on this platform, post on that platform. Again, when I'm mentioning 99% on all these platforms, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, 99% of those thousands and thousands of friends don't live in the area. So you don't have to overwhelm yourself by thinking you have to post all the time, dude. Like not all of us are Gary V. Not all of us have a freaking 100 man office posting every damn five minutes for us, right? So if you're a little guy like myself, the solo entrepreneur, don't waste your time on that. Like do not waste your time on that. I tell my clients all the time. I'm like, dude, the only people forget about, here's what I tell them. I say, forget about social media, the hell with social media. 99% of people live across the country. 99% of people don't care about your listing. The only people who you need to stay in front of are people who live in your local area. And the only way you're going to do that is through a Facebook ad. There's no other way. Instagram ad, YouTube ad. There's absolutely no other way that is as effective and, 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 and least expensive, right? There's nothing that you could possibly be doing. Um, this is where, all, where we're all at. We're all on social media. We're all on our freaking phones scrolling through our damn news feed. That's where we're at today in 2020 and beyond, okay? So to get the attention, it's that, it's that news feed. But as you're running the right ad, which would be a conversions, you're then taking them to a landing page. That's it, man. You're running conversion ads straight to a landing page, and you're not having to post all the time. What I always um, consult my clients on is, is, is post once a week, but that post is an actual Facebook ad. So you can come over here and post it on your business page, post it here first, write out the text, image, video, whatever it may be. And that becomes the ad. Okay. Then you come into your ads manager, you set up conversions, you set up a custom conversions. In fact, stay to the end of this video. You'll see another video that comes up 
that's how you set up your custom conversions. That has to be done first. In fact, your pixel has to be set up first. In fact, stay to the end. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tie a video that goes over the top three things you need to do first, which is your pixel, your custom audiences, and your custom conversions, okay? Those three things must be set up first if you're trying to capture leads. And conversions is the, uh, is the objective that you're going to be running. But as I'm saying, don't think you have to post everywhere all the time, man. Have your platform set up, look active, look legit, have your links customized, but focus on maybe posting one, one per week, but you're running it directly to your local area. Those are the only folks that you care to get in front of, man, the people that you're doing business with in your backyard. And so make sure you're running conversions, make sure that you're consistent and running a daily ad. I'm telling you one per week. If you're doing one post, aka Facebook ad per week, that's for a month. Okay, so technically it's running an ad every day. You are running an ad every day. If you were to focus on that, you guys, you would literally, literally dominate your backyard. But here's the thing. As I click on that ad, look where this person's taking me. And, I, and this is the first time I'm clicking on it, but at the same time, I already know. Like I already know where, where, where everyone takes me. And so this right here taking me to a, to a, a page. I don't even know. Okay, so email required. Um, I mean, I guess I, I guess you can call this somewhat of a landing page, but but here's the thing too. Here's here's the biggest problem with this, is that there's too much going on. There's way too much going on. Before you know it, I'm over here clicking on on this, and before you know it, I'm over here on Facebook. I mean, excuse me, on YouTube. So you you paid for an ad. Let's say for example that was an ad. You paid for me to click. That's what you're paying for, right? I click, I come over here, I click on the video. Before you know it, I'm watching it on YouTube, right? Because I came over here, clicked on it, clicked on the top link, clicked over here. And then before you know it, one second later, I'm watching freaking Charlemagne the God and freaking TI, right? Like, you don't want to take my attention away from what you were promoting. And that's what happens when you, when you put a bunch of stuff on one page and when, especially when you tie YouTube videos to it, this is not where you want to be taken. Now, if you're just promoting this and just giving out information to your local, you know, freaking neighbor. Okay, cool. Go to my website, take a look to your neighbor. But if you're paying for advertising, if you're actually driving traffic, which you should be doing, this is not where you're taking me, man. You're, there's, there's too much going on and my attention is gone the moment I'm on YouTube and you paid for me to click and you lost me. Okay, so, so rather than taking me straight to a page with a bunch of crap going on, you want, you want to take me to one single page. So for example, I click, on, I click on this ad. Right when I click on learn more, you're bringing me straight to one single page. Get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. Schedule your private showing before the bidding war begins. A few bullet points on the property. View all 17 photos now. That's how you capture a lead. And that, was all, that, that all came from a Facebook ad targeting my local area to capture the lead. That's it, man. And once I capture the lead, you need to have an email automation in place where that lead is now automatically getting emails. That's your email automation. And so I do everything through one software, which is profitwithkartra.online. There's a 14-day trial. Um, I use it for my landing pages, my email automation, and especially my calendar. Because as a person comes here and opts in, and they end up going to the next page, on that next page is a video getting that person to schedule a call. Okay, so I need a link to a calendar. And a lot of you guys are using multiple services for all of these different things. You got one landing page software. You got a second software for your email autoresponder. You got a third software for your, for your calendar. I use everything in this one software. And there's a 14 day trial right below uh, profitwithkartra.online. But that's what you want to do, man. That's what it's all about. So unless, unless we're running Facebook ads, man, don't bother posting on this page. It's worthless. There's nothing. You're not going to get anything. And, and, and especially those that are in e-commerce, if you got thousands of people that follow your page, 1% has seen it. So that's not, that's not where the ROI is going to come from either. So that's what I'm saying, man run Facebook ads, run Facebook ads, target your local area. And those are the only people on social media we care to get in front of. It ain't my LinkedIn connections. It ain't my freaking Instagram followers. I don't care if you got 15,000 people and you're a local business owner. No one lives in the area. 
So if you're that 1% that says, David, I get all my business from freaking organic and I'm a local business owner. Okay, you're 1%. You're the 1%, I'm telling you, man. So if you're the other 99% that I'm speaking to, that's just how you do it, right? So don't worry about clicking invite to get your freaking 3,200 friends on your personal page to like it. No one cares. Facebook's only showing it to 1%. Anyways, start running Facebook ads, man. Start running Facebook ads. In fact, I have a, a, a training series that's fbadsforbeginners.com. That link is in the description as well where I teach the basics on this stuff, man. This stuff is basic. Once you learn it, you can, you can, you can just scale it from there and, and not even you know, need anyone to do it for you. My whole mission in 2020 is to teach you guys how to do this stuff yourself. So um, step your game up in 2020, man. Step your game up because this stuff right here is just a waste of time. Posting everywhere is a waste of time um, unless you have a huge team and unless you're a nationwide business. If you're not doing any of that, then, then focus on that small area. Bring them to a landing page, capture that lead, and nurture that list via email automation. Okay. And so, again, the software that I use for it all is profitwithcarture.online. That link is in, this, is in the description. All right, guys. So, step your game up, man. All this organic, that ain't the way to do it in 2020. I'll see you guys on the next video. Over now.